Guys, welcome to Teotihuacan. Today we are going to visit the tallest and most mysterious pyramids in Mesoamerica. This stunning place and UNESCO World Heritage Site is just 50 kilometers away from Mexico City and is the most visited archaeological site in Mexico. The name Teotihuacan was given to this place by the Aztecs, who found it around 700 years after it was abandoned and it means the place where the gods were created. Even though it is one of the most important Mesoamerican centers, very little is known about its history. We know that it was founded around the 2nd century BC and it was abandoned around the 8th century AD. Around 100,000 people were living in this city at its peak, which made this place the sixth biggest city in the world at that time, just behind cities like Rome, Alexandria and Constantinopolis. The place where we are standing at the moment is called Calzada de los Muertos and it's an avenue two kilometers long. On that side there's the Palace of Quetzalcoatl. Over here we have the Pyramid of the Sun and over there the Pyramid of the Moon. It's around 45 meters tall and the Pyramid of the Sun is 74 meters tall. It's a very big place, it covers an area of 20 square kilometers so today we're gonna walk a lot and probably we're going to spend the entire day here. There are five different entrances to this site. I've been left at the entrance number two, right in front of the Pyramid of the Sun. That's why I'm walking my way down south until reaching the Temple of Quetzalcoatl. And after I'm gonna walk my way back until reaching the Pyramid of the Moon. Even after the fall and abandonment of Teotihuacan, the city was a pilgrimage center for other Mesoamerican cultures, such as the Mexica or Aztecs, who attributed religious importance to it. Teotihuacan had a strong cultural influence in other regions, but it also expanded politically and conquered other neighboring cities, including some in the Mayan area. Today all we can see are rocks, but at that time all these stones were covered with white stucco and red paint. As you can see on this corner, there's still some paint left. This is the precinct of the temple of Quetzalcoatl, the feathered snake, also known in the Maya civilization as Kukulkan. The temple of Quetzalcoatl was made of two pyramids. The first one was like a platform to access the second one. And on top of the second pyramid there was the temple. As you can see the second pyramid is in a very bad shape today, but there's still a very nice detail I can show you. I also think that this platform is the only one that you can actually climb in the entire complex. So let's have a look from the top. The pyramids we see today were built primarily for religious reasons. The Temple of Quetzalcoatl, or Temple of the Feathered Serpent, gets its name from the snake heads carved into the side of the pyramid. If you remember, we saw a very suggestive replica of the facade of this temple in the archaeological museum in one of my previous video. If you didn't watch it, I recommend you to check it out. Another carved figure appears on the pyramid. It is believed to be Tlaloc, god of rain, as well as nails and shells, both symbols of water. But in addition to the visual appeal, the history of this pyramid is very interesting, since in the past it functioned as a center of human sacrifice. In fact, the remains of more than 200 sacrifices were found at the site. You can see some of them in the Museum of Teotihuacan. I'll show you that in a minute. From here you also have a nice view over the Pyramid of the Sun and the Pyramid of the Moon. The most annoying thing around here are those people using those whistles uh, making an eagle-like or a jaguar-like sound and they just spend their time blowing their whistle and yeah it's actually quite annoying people should respect more other visitors and this place first of all if you hear in this video these kind of sounds I can guarantee you there's no eagle or even less jaguars around here. I mean, you can buy it, but use it back home.
One of the most interesting parts to visit is the western group of underground ruins just past the temple of Quetzalcoatl, which is going to take you even more back in time. If you're lucky, you'll be able to explore this narrow space in total silence and on your own, crawling through small doors and dark corners, until reaching the external area and what looks like a temple with mural traces on it. These buildings are from a different period compared to the ones that we see on the ground level. All this space where we are walking right now was once covered with stones. They used to do this when they had to expand a building or a temple or overall the entire city. Once the old buildings were covered up, they used to build the new ones on top of them. You have to come here to have an idea about how big is this place? This is the riverbed of the river San Juan. The curse of this river has been changed by the people of Teotihuacan to let it pass through the city. Besides walking along the Calzada de los Muertos, you can also take secondary paths. I'm basically behind all the constructions that you see along the Avenida de los Muertos. And over there, there's the Pyramid of the Sun. The landscape is very dry, a lot of cacti around, quite hot, very sunny. Make sure to bring some water, sunscreen and a hat. I'm here because I want to check the museum. Right before arriving, there's one of the very few areas with a bit of shade and some tables where you can get some rest from the burning sun. In the same spot, there are also vending machines with snacks and drinks in case you need them and also a free and clean toilet. It's a very small museum, the visit shouldn't take more than half an hour and the good thing is that it's free because the entrance is included in the entry ticket of Teotihuacan. You must visit the museum to understand more about Teotihuacan. The site houses an extensive collection of archaeological pieces, carved stones, ceramics and obsidian. You can also find mural fragments, models and texts explaining the process of making mural painting. Let's start heading up north. The southern part of this complex is lower than the northern part, so that's why they built the system of platforms. Under each platform there's a drainage canal to allow the water to flow. I'm back in front of the Pyramid of the Sun where I started, but now let's get a bit closer. With its 64 meters, it is the third tallest pyramid in the world, after the Pyramid of Khufu and the one of Cholula, which by the way we will visit in the next video. The Pyramid of the Sun is actually six pyramids, each built on top of the other. Beneath all this there is a cave, which in the ancient Mexico represented the passage to the underworld. Archaeologists mentioned that approximately 14,000 people were needed to build this structure. Before the pandemic it was possible to climb up the Pyramid of the Sun, but now it's closed. At the top of the Pyramid of the Sun there used to be a huge temple. F*** this jaguar. At the top of the Pyramid of the Sun there used to be a huge temple, but nowadays there's nothing left. The only thing you can do is circumnavigate the whole pyramid. Also for the pyramid of the sun guys you have to imagine it covered with this kind of stucco. Now I'm not sure if this is actually stucco or whatever, but it was covered with this thing. It had a totally different look. Lots of souvenir sellers around. I didn't ask for the price, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna cost you way more here than in any other souvenir shop around Mexico City. Mm -hmm. 
We made it to the square of the Pyramid of the Moon and it's impressive. This pyramid is believed to have been used as a ritual temple built to worship the great goddess of Teotihuacan, who served as a deity of water, fertility and creation. Right in front of the Pyramid of the Moon there's another small pyramid and all around the square there are 10 small altars. Archaeologists believe that the Pyramid of the Moon has undergone somewhere near 7 stages of construction during the lifespan of Teotihuacan's rule. I'm on a viewpoint on the southern corner of the square. Check this out. As for the Pyramid of the Sun, it is prohibited to climb up the Pyramid of the Moon. On the side of the square you can find the ruins of the temple of Quetzalpapalotl. It's small but it's worth taking a look around. The most impressive things are the paintings and engravings as there are several walls and pillars decorated with representations of butterflies and Quetzal feathers. In fact the name of the temple means Butterfly Quetzal. Its function is unclear but it could have been the home of a high-ranking priest given its location next to the temples. That is all from Teotihuacan guys, one of the most astonishing and fascinating places I've ever seen in my whole life. If you've enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, guys, you know the drill. I hope I'll see you in the next video to keep discovering Mexico one video at a time. Bye guys.